So today we're back with episode two of the Beavers franchise. We're going to make a couple changes to the roster. We're going to go through spring training, check out those position battles we have, see what we got going on in the beginning of the year or heading into the regular season. Might have some injuries. Who knows what happens? We might hopefully be healthy because we don't really have a lot of MLB quality depth in the side. So like hopefully no injuries, but we're going to make a couple trades or at least one trade just to see if we could get a little bit more depth in the like the pitching staff. We're really lacking some arms as just in general. I just need arms out there. It doesn't really matter how good they are. I just need arms. And then on top of that, I would like to sign a former number one overall pick. See if we can get their career back on track. I think that's it. Let's get into it. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, thumbs up down below. You know the deal. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. And of course, in the comment section down below, did you like today's episode? Who do you think should be in the lineup? What should we do going forward? All that good stuff. Let me know down below. Of course, follow social media, all that good stuff. You know where that is also. It's in the description. So here we go. I was looking at our team, right? And pitching wise, like we, we do have some young starters. I'd like to try out, see how they do bullpen though we're just we're lacking depth and one or two injuries we're gonna be in a lot more trouble than we already are like right up right off the bat we're already pretty low depth wise like starting pitching we, we've, we've got a couple arms like we've got some depth here but it's it's really outside of our mlb arms we don't really have anybody else that we could really turn to so i, I would like to try to pick up something i would like to get something lineup wise I, I don't hate what we got going on in the starting lineup our bench is okay as well but there's a couple players that like i would just rather use anybody else besides them elvis andrews is one of those guys but he does become a free agent at the end of the year so i'm not too worried about him the big one is steven piscotti like, we got michael armacio we have chris davis as well that i would probably just throw out there instead and realistically that's going to be our dh so like Michael Hermosillo was going to be our fourth outfielder. Like, he's going to be the guy that fills in when we need to. We could even use Nico Goodrum out there if we really needed to. I would just like to get rid of Michael Piscotti. Like, I, or Michael Piscotti. Steven Piscotti. Did I say Michael Piscotti the whole time? So, what I'm thinking is, I would like to pick up just a bullpen arm. Get someone that can eat some innings, help us out throughout the season, and see what we can do. So, I'm, I'm looking. I'm not trying to get someone like a Nick Anderson or... A Kirby Yates, a Craig, uh, Craig Kimbrell, someone like that. I'm looking for someone that just maybe has a little bit of upside. And I'm already looking at it. I saw the A potential. <sighs> Zach Birdie. He pitched a little bit for the, the Orioles last year. Hunter Harvey as well. Zach Birdie's two years younger. I wish there was like a look, like a comparison. Um, You know what? Let's see here. I'm going to go Zach Birdie. He's a little bit younger. He's two years younger. He's two overall lower. But I feel like let's let's go Zach Birdie. He, he throws gas, by the way. 98 miles an hour on the fastball. 97 on the two seam. So let's do that. And then let's also just give them someone else that I'm not going to use to finish up this deal. And I think, I mean, Mickey McDonald. There it is. Zach Birdie. There you go. Do they need an outfielder? I, I doubt they do, but they're going to get one anyways. Okay, so there we go. That that makes that deal done. That gives us a little bit more depth. So I think we can send down somebody. Let's go with, for right now, let's go Michel Baez. J just for right now. Just for right now, because we might end up needing him anyways. So let's, let's rock with this for now. Let's see how that goes. We'll keep Homer Bailey. I'm not really sold on Homer Bailey. I would like to get rid of him just because he's going to fall off in rating. He's not really going to be useful come like probably May. So maybe maybe we do try to find somebody else as well. <laughs> like just really just try to find somebody at all. And um, let's see. I, man, I really would like a, a, a bullpen arm. So let me let's let's actually just do this. Let's just go here. Player search. Let's find somebody that's got a little bit of stamina. Just someone that could help us out. All right, so where is stamina? If we can get to this, I think this will be our last trade. Nothing too crazy, just a couple smaller moves. You know, someone with at least like 60 stamina. So again, we're probably looking a little bit lower on the list. Someone like a Michael Lorenzen, who was pretty bad last year. I don't know if we could trade for him, but that's, that's someone that 
you know, kind of a fringe guy. Let's see. We got Dylan King, John K or Dylan File, John King, Sean Reed Foley. What else do we have? Anthony Banda. Um, maybe maybe Michael Lorenzen. He had a bad year last year. Let's see if we can find a, a trade for Lorenzen. Maybe I should have taken Pletko. Trevor Cahill, how'd he do last year? Pretty bad. Martin Perez wasn't used at all last year. What's the what's the contract situation? A one-year deal. Cutter Crawford. Mm, let's go with. Let's see. See if we can get Michael Lorenzen. Let's just see if we can get him. For uh, Homer Bailey. How far are we off? Not far at all. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is gonna be another easy trade. We'll just give him. There it is. Homer Bailey goes back to the goes back to the Reds. Sorry, for Reds fans. I know you're not gonna be too happy about that at all, at all. But there's a trade. Super super simple stuff. Um, yeah, we kind of finessed a couple pitchers or a couple teams, I should say. But you know what? It, it happens. It happens. So there it is. Those are the two trades. And you're probably thinking, all right, who's the former number one overall pick? Let's just get it out the way right away. Mickey Moniak. I'm going to give him a little bit of a deal. He's going to help us out in the outfield now that we just lost Steven Piscotti. And you're probably thinking, why would you bring in another outfielder considering you just said you don't really need one? Well, we, we might. We might. We might. Andujar, we could potentially move him to first base just in case Seth Brown doesn't do well. If Chris Davis starts to, you know, start not hitting like he kind of does, then we can maybe move Seth Brown or Andujar to the DH spot, and then we could rock with one of those other guys in the outfield as a starter, right? Just having that flexibility, having that depth, that's really what I'm looking for with this team. So we're gonna do a lot of chopping and changing, testing out different things. So here we go. Mickey Moniak, 23 years old, formerly of the Phillies, number one overall pick in 20... Ooh, 2016, I wanna say. Yeah, 2016. 2016. Let's see if we can get him back on track. Hasn't played with anybody since 2020. So we'll see how he does. So what I'm thinking for today, spring training. Let's get through a couple games. We're going to show the main highlights. We're not really going to go through like the whole games. I'm going to give you the main highlights. If a player is going through a big, big streak of being hot or cold, I'll show you that. Any big plays, anything like that. But I kind of want to get a feel of how this team does. I'm thinking maybe the Dodgers. Then we take an easy team on, you know, maybe like a little bounce back game. Maybe someone like the Rockies or the Royals or maybe the Rangers. Rangers might be a good one. A little little divisional setup, like setup, divisional game there, a little rivalry going on. And then maybe again, another difficult game. Maybe someone like the, the White Sox, maybe the Angels, another division rival or like the Padres or something like that, just to kind of get a feel of where we're at so let's get into this dodgers game let's see how it goes all right it's gonna be a base hit uh can we cut it off we can't clint frazier's got a little bit of an arm but i don't know if he's gonna have the arm to throw out seager here no it's gonna be a double three two count with two outs two out hits do hurt we just gotta make sure that it doesn't turn into a run i mean it was just a bad pitch i mean if you can see the yeah it, it just was a bad pitch here and uh we're gonna rock with quick counts because not only does it make me a little bit more, like, it, it forces me to be a little bit more aggressive at the plate. It also does speed up the game a little bit. So, we're going we're gonna to see how it goes. Let me know how you guys feel about quick counts. Do you guys like it in franchise? It speeds up the games for me a little bit. It also puts a little bit more difficulty on me. Especially at the plate and also pitching-wise, right? Because if it gives me 1-1 one, one counts, 3-2 counts... Maybe if we start making the playoffs or if we start hitting like difficult games, maybe then I start to kind of back out of the quick count situation. But for right now, I think it's an okay situation. All right, let me let me change up the gameplay zone for a little bit. Let's 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 bump it to Ooh, what do I Oh man, what did I used to I don't want broadcast. Let's go like maybe offset. Let's try it. Let's see what offset looks like. Uh, we'll we'll see how this plays. We we might have to change it up. We'll see. Okay, that's gonna take some time. That's gonna take some time to get used to. It's been a few days since I've played as well, so it's gonna it's gonna take some time. Alrighty, two two to Rondon. And I, whoo, this is gonna take some time. I might need to zoom it in a little bit. I need might I might need to zoom it in a little bit. Um, I think I just allowed a home run. Oh, that's 100% a home run. 
Mostly because I completely threw a slider right down the middle. AJ Pollock goes deep. And it's a it's a one nothing game. That is uh, not ideal. Okay, so now against Gavin Lux, obviously we want to kind of get out of the situation here. All right, there we go. Easy play at second base. So that, that home run is a little bit of a problem. But it's only one run. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right, 3-1, we got to be super patient. That's really what it comes down to. Just be patient. Make sure we're only swinging at strikes. It would also help if we could actually put the barrel on the ball. All right, little, little like uh, bloop single by Bellinger. Might get second here. He's not going to. All right, cool, cool, cool. All righty, so 2-1. We got to we gotta get out here. Trey Turner is going to be difficult to turn a double play on Trey Turner. He does strike. He does strike. He does swing. Oh, Man, gameplay commentary, a little rusty, Li little rusty, little rusty. All right, let's 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 get the, the pitch up in the zone. He runs, so hopefully Andujar can make the play. Andujar, oh boy. Oh, that was a little dicey. He does make the play, but ooh, I didn't like that one at all. All right, 2-2. Two, two. Let's get the curveball going. Let's turn two here. Look at that. Easy. Just what the doctor ordered. And we're out of it. Oh, Seth Brown. Ooh. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I do need to focus up a little bit more. Just because I'm not used to this. The batting, the batting camera. Definitely need to adjust to that. But a fastball down the middle. You, you can't miss that one. And we're all tied up at one Walker Bueller making a big mistake there, and Seth Brown, that that was a big boy swing right there. That, whoo, whoo. Okay, so we got a walk. Harold Castro's up. Does hit righty as well. I would like a base hit here. That'd be big. We do have the catcher on first, so it's not like we have a lot of speed out there. And I don't know why I swung at that. I'm not gonna lie, but a base hit here would be big. Just get the runners going. Start to threaten. Full count. There we go. We got to be patient. Jose Rondon on deck. So if we can get him up, even better. I just need to keep the bats going. Get the pitch count up for Walker Bueller. And he ends up walking us. There we go. All right. 2-1 count. Here we go. Let's go, Rondon. All right. 3-1. Walker Bueller struggling with the location. We got Miguel Andujar up next. And get just a base hit here. Or at just not a double play. That's, I mean, it's it's not a bad swing, but that's not going to move the runners. There we go. That is a huge swing by Andujar. Is that going to get down? No. Oh. It's going to be a base hit for Seager. Oh, that was a good pitch, too. That was a great pitch. Slider in on the knees, lower part of the zone, and Seager just, what, inside outs it up the middle? That's tough. That's super tough. Seager's, ah, oh man, that's just, and then a walk. So we got first and second, no outs. I need a double play here. I need a double play. I'll take a strike out, though. That's big. All right, we need we need we need a little bit of something. That that's not that something. I mean, they're gonna probably send Seager, the crow hop man. The crow hop killed it. I was a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. That was a that that extra crow hop though. He doesn't take that extra crow hop. I think we get him out at home. I think he just comes up firing. I think we get him. We are gonna get out of the inning though. So there's that. Oh, no. They gave me the infield fly. I was going to say, I didn't think we had two outs. I didn't think we had two outs. The infield fly, that's that's going to be a terrible pitch. That's going to get him in. So, we're just going to throw it in at second here. We should have him out at second. Why is he not covering second? Uh, all right. RBI, RBI double because he didn't decide to cover second. We're in a little bit of trouble now. Second and third with Bellinger up. And that should be the left fielder's ball because it's curving towards him. It should be Andujar. Camps out under it. Two run score. Mm. All right, let's go. 2-2. Two, two. It's a good pitch. Woo! We got the call for ball three. That was a great pitch. Had me frozen. 
And then we strike out anyways, so it doesn't matter. Alright, first bullpen arm, Michael Lorenzen. Gets the strike call. That's what I'm talking about, um. There we go. There we go, Lorenzen. Alright, Rondon is 0-2 for today. Not ideal, or 0 for 2, I should say. And, I'm again, just not a bad swing. We're just a little early on it. Big issue for this game that I've noticed might not really show it with the highlights just because a lot of them have been outs. But the big thing is timing. Obviously, the Seth Brown home run was like the main thing we've had offensively. We've had a couple doubles here and there. A couple singles here and there. But realistically, it, it's just been the timing. And that's it really comes down to just the, the hitting angle, the camera angle, whatever you want to call it. it it's going to take a couple games for me to get used to. So the more I play, the more we'll get used to it. But actually, I like it. It makes it more difficult for us. It's going to make it a little bit more difficult for me. I shouldn't be swinging there. But there we go. You know what? I, I don't mind losing more often. It definitely is going to be a, a big change for me. Like a, a lot more of a challenge. All right. So we're going to go to the lefty, AJ Puck. Just a player who's battled injuries in real life. Let's see if we can get his career back on track. Coming up against Cody Bellinger. Definitely not a good or not an easy opponent to come up against in first pitch, man. Maybe a little a little bit of jitters, but first first pitch fastball down the middle. Let's challenge him again with it. It's gonna drop. That's that's tough. That's tough. Like not a bad pitch. Could be a little bit lower in the zone, but overall, man. So we just gotta get the outs here. I mean they brought in a lefty and Edwin Rios. Definitely another power bat, but I do like the lefty lefty matchup. Let's go to the curveball. Oh actually, I lied. We're gonna go to the circle change. I'm gonna mess up. It's gonna get by. And it's going to be out at second. Uh, okay. Not the best. There we go. Ooh, he almost took that down the line. All right, so AJ Puck's come in. He's walked Edwin Rios. A single by Bellinger. Not in that order. It's actually flipped. It was a single by Bellinger. And then he walked Edwin Rios. So we're in a little bit of trouble here. Sheldon noises it. Uh, up. Oh, boy. I'm... All over the place, but it's gonna be a it's gonna be a run. It's gonna be a run easily. I mean, maybe we could have had him at home. We actually might have had him at home, but let's just let's just avoid the run getting in. Let's avoid like the the runners moving. Please make this play. Please make this play. Let's get it in. He's not gonna go to third. So what I was saying is, single by Bellinger, walk by Rios. AJ Puck has had a little bit of trouble. But the run scored. I wanted to make sure we avoided the runners advancing. As I say that, it looks like they're going to advance anyways. Again, may have had a shot at home, but let's just let's just avoid the runners advancing. It's 5-1. AJ Puck is not having a good outing right now. He is just getting smacked up a little bit. A couple pitches aren't bad. They're just they're just getting hit. As I I'm going to give him a, a just a, a peach here. It's going to be safe at third. All right, AJ Puck is just, he's struggling. Walks the bases loaded now. Ah, man. Just not his outing. This should be the last out. We're just going to throw it to first. Oh, tough outing. Tough outing for AJ Puck. All right, we're threatening a little bit here in the eighth with two outs. Full count. Sending the runners. Andujar's up. Runners going. Bases loaded. Darian Nunez struggling a little bit here later on in the eighth. We got Taylor Trammell up. I don't think we really have anybody on the bench we can turn to. It's going to be a lefty-lefty matchup. That's a great swing, by the way. Is that gone? Did we just tie it up? All right, so I just allowed a home run. Uh, it's a... Uh, Edwin Rios, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fast forward it. I'm just gonna end the game. If we score, we score. Honestly, let's just let's get through it. So yeah, six one offensively, just a little unlucky, a little unlucky. Um, pitching wise, a little sloppy, but that's the game. All right, so we're gonna face the Cubs. The Cubs aren't that good, and I wanted to I wanted to test it out. Another another bad team. See how we can rebound. That's going to be a fly out. I can't see the ball at all with this overcast, which is going to suck. But you know what? We'll, we're going to have to make it work. We're going to have to make it work. So, yeah. 
a couple changes to the lineup. Nothing too crazy. Getting a couple of the outfielders in. Changing a couple positions up a little bit. But we'll see how it goes. There we go. I'll take that little error. Gets us on base. There we go. I'll take that. I'll take that. All right, let's go, Anduhar. I'm not going to lie. This release is a little funky. So it's a little difficult to see. Overcast is terrible. So it's a little foggy. It's like a weird like haze going on. A nice little single from Miguel Andujar. Can we get to third here? We're not gonna. We're not going to. Two two guys on. A little bit of luck. A little bit of luck. I'll take it though. Next up, Clint Frazier hitting 333 so far. Let's uh let's see how it goes. All right, we got a full count. One out for Clint Frazier. Honestly, I wanted to kind of do a little hit and run. I did not swing. Bases loaded. Bases loaded. There we go. For Mickey Moniac. Moniac, I don't know. We'll 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 figure it out. Or we'll just keep switching throughout the entire series. Who knows? It's gonna be a double play. It's gonna be a double play unless he can beat it out. He does. Doesn't get the run in. Fielder's choice. That's just a bad swing by me. That's just a terrible swing by me. Is Elvis Andrews gonna be our savior here with two outs? He's not. He's gonna fly out. He doesn't have power. Alright, I'm going to let Honeywell go through six just because he's been so good. Like, one base runner through six inning has been fantastic. I might have jinxed it here. He might end up giving up a home run here, but he's been really, really good. Like, I like his motion. It's super fluid. It's really easy to get timing down. And, I mean, there it is. Through six, I'm one base runner. Love to see it. The highlights for this game have literally been the first inning, and Brent, Brent Honeywell just dominating I, what does dylan maples have fastball slider curve all right all right decided to bring in taylor trammell to pinch hit just because of the righty on the mound having the lefty off the bench worked and is that gonna get down of course not of course not of course not of course not all right we're gonna start making some changes here start bringing in some bench bats see if that can you know bring us a spark that's going to be a fly out. I just can't get the timing down. Especially with this hazy, fog, overcast garbage. It's it's tough. So Nico Goodrum comes off the bench. Draws a walk. And maybe this is the inning. Maybe. There we go. That's a run. That's a run. I'm, I'm, th I'm sending him. I don't care. Rondon. Coming in the clutch. I'm even going to try for three here. I'm going to get greedy. We're going to get an RBI triple by Jose Rondon. There we go. All right, Andujar, I just need you to hit this to the outfield. Outfield, that's all That's all I need. L literally any sort of contact that's beyond the infield. I don't care where. I, I'm not that. Not that, not that. That that was not what I needed. All right, Frazier. Do I have someone off the bench? I've. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave it. I don't really want Crush Davis playing the outfield, so it, it comes down to Clint Frazier to give us a little bit of insurance here. Let's go, Clint. Need a base hit here. Is it? No. Okay. Rondon gives us the lead, heading into the bottom of the eighth. AJ Puck would be our setup guy, but he's a little bit tired, so instead we're gonna turn to Jose Quintana. Michael Rucker looks tiny on the mound. Is that just me? He's got a little bit of... Why did that 92 mile an hour fastball look like it was coming in at 100 miles an hour? By the way, that looked unbelievably quick. Base hit. There we go. Okay, I need to see who the Cubs have behind the plate. Because he is not blocking anything right now. So, how do I box score? Let's see. Cubs currently have Christopher Morrell behind the plate or Shed Long. Who's who's currently catcher? Is it is it Shed Long? They have whoever it is is not blocking anything. Literally every pitch is getting by right now. I shouldn't have swung. That was ball four. Who is that? I can't. Of course, there's no name. I think it's Christopher Morrell, the third baseman that they have behind the plate. All right, full count for Seth Brown. 0 for 3 on the day. That was ball four. 
And honestly, any pitch really out of the zone, I should just leave it because I don't know if the catcher's going to get to it. That could move the runner. That was a swing. That was a swing. You got to swing the bat, man. You got to swing the bat. You got to swing the bat. All right, two outs. Base hit does score Mickey at second base. So I'll be greedy. Taylor Trammell. Taylor Trammell. There we go. Get that, Get those extra bases. RBI double gives us the insurance run. That was big. That was big. There we go. Taylor Trammell. I think he can be a, a huge piece for us in the outfield. As long as he can do stuff like this, I think we'll be set. I thought that was actually a home run. Just missed it by probably like, what, three, four, maybe five feet. Boom. There we go. We got Andrew Knapp who's come in to pinch hit as well. I think he came in last at bat. So... Maybe we can get a couple more runs here. Nope, that's going to be it. But you know what? I'll take the insurance. All right, so it comes down to Kevin McCarthy to not blow the game. I know, kind of crazy. We are really bad. Like, really, really bad. So, yeah. Let's, let's, let's get this double play. Little sinker. There it is. Oh, man. Elvis Andrews, don't mess it up. Let's turn the double play. Two outs in the ninth. Let's close this out. This is This is too much. This is just spring training, and we're out here grinding out games logan morrison's up man he's probably gonna go deep huh uh not where i wanted it but we'll take it let's get a little little split finger action two two count two outs he's gonna do a little little blooper yeah take it off the bounce the short hop the toss the first we get a win we get a win that's what i'm talking about all right we're gonna streamline this last game just because the last game that we played against the Cubs was absolutely terrible and not a good start. So I, I said we were going to do three games. This time we're going to play the Rockies. And, man, it, it just it just hasn't been good. We are not good. Also, on top of that, I'm not used to the hitting camera. So, like, offensively, I've been absolutely trash. We also just aren't a good team, so we're not really going to score a lot of runs. But, man, this one's going to be tough. This one is going to be tough. We do get the double play there. We got Chichi Gonzalez on the mound. And the double play was big. That wasn't the best of pitches, but yeah. So realistically, the highlights you're going to see are going to be few and far between. But the ones you are going to see, it's just going to show how bad we are pitching-wise, how bad we are offensively. You you'll see a couple good things here and there. Honestly, you might not even see that much. I really don't know because going through it all, I, I have a feeling it's, it's not going to be good. I uh, Honestly, it might just be... It might just be a video of me going, we suck. We're bad for the next 45 minutes. Who knows? We'll break it down on, like, everything. I'm like, because I've played more than just the three games. I've actually played, like, five, six. Ooh, ooh. Actually, how many have I played? Maybe, like, seven games of this spring training. One, because I want to get used to this camera angle, which I'm still not getting used to. But two, because, whoo, this team's bad, and I just want to see if I can get used to it. And, honestly, this is going to be a rough season. This is really going to be a rough year, so... Let's see how things continue to go. But, like, if I'm missing 93 miles an hour down the middle by quite a bit, we're going to have some trouble. There you go, Chris Davis. That's got to be gone. That's got to be gone, right? Is it not? I'm not going to lie. I just suck. I just suck. That's really what it comes down to. I'm just bad. Like, I haven't... Not playing a lot of gameplay... Just focusing on like doing rebuilds. And then on top of that, changing up your hitting camera. Wow. I am. I'm just bad. An 89 speed might beat this out. Look at that. That is that is top player hitting right there. Ooh. And then I hit into a double play. I just. It's just not meant to be. Uh honestly, it, it just might be a hey, I suck. We suck next episode types. Of, that's going to drop. That's going to drop. Uh, uh, all right. He's going to get to third here. And um, we're going to get the out, but not ideal. Not ideal. Like I said, it's just, it's just gone to the, it's just, get, it's, it's just, we're bad. I'm bad. I, oof. This, this honestly, I, I, I like the challenge. It is definitely an eye opener. Definitely. Yeah, this is. Uh, 
Oh, oh, I can't, I don't know if I can take this beat down anymore, man. I'm just, I just can't handle it. I just can't handle it. He's going to steal second too. Oh, no, he's not. Make the play, Clint Frazier. Make the play. Look at the athleticism. I'll take a walk. That's the only way I could get on base, taking walks. So that might just be the only way that I have to approach the game. Just don't swing the bat. Get to second base, please. No throw. Okay, we're, we're threatening. We're threatening. I like it. 2-1. We got... We're, we're down a run. It's still only the third. We've got quite a bit of game left. But, um... You know, after... After all these games, I'm just feeling... I'm just... You know, like, uh, this is just, this is just a rough, a rough day, a rough day. And I mean, we're going to get to third. So a base, a base hit or even some sort of contact brings in the tying run, brings in the tying run. So let's, let's do this. Clint Frazier, you're hitting 300 on the spring. This is one of the last games of spring. I think we've only got like three or four left after this. So if we could keep, keep this hot bat rolling into the season, I'd be happy. 3-2 count. Man, I just don't strike out. Just don't swing at garbage, realistically. Let's go. He struck me out. Oh, man. Like, did I get fooled? 100%. 100%. But Nico Goodrum's got my back. He doesn't. That's a fly out. I, I can't do this anymore, guys. I got to... I got, I, yeah, uh, that's it, uh, you know what, I've accepted it, we're bad, let's quick manage it, let's end, let's end my misery, the double play, the single, the caught stealing, anybody, can we, can we just get through it, can, who's up, Tapia, yo, Clevenger, come in and please close the game, uh, three nothing, okay, maybe I just need to quick sim everything, cause that's how we'll win, they're keeping in Gomber, are they crazy? Fielder's choice. Uh, we, we just had the bases loaded with no outs. And we only scored once, I think. Two runs. Michael Franco is having a game. An absolute game. All right. Let's... Uh, Who's up? Hilliard. Yeah, he can go. He can go. And then... Pinch hitter. Perfect. All right. Jordan Sheffield will pinch hit here. We're going to go to... Um, Harold Castro. Swing, please, please, nothing. All right, we'll pinch it here. We'll go Moniac. Swing, nothing. Swing, perfect. All right, eighth inning. Let's go, Puck. Let's close. Let's uh, let's get a nice little setup here. Runner was thrown out. I like it. A single, two run score. Sack fly, three run score. AJ Puck, not the setup guy. That is what I found out through all my experience through spring training. AJ Puck is not a high leverage man. Just isn't. Just isn't. We've we've definitely figured that out. Zach Birdie. Let's see if he can come in and do a little bit of damage. Okay. He, he, he limited damage. No damage was done, I should say. Oberg comes in. And comes down to Seth Brown. He gets on base. And then we strike out. So that is that is our that is our spring training done and dusted, thankfully. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this off. Let's just, let's just get through it. You guys can see we had a couple games left. Spring training has come to an end. Let, let's, let's talk about this squad. Let's talk about it here. So, Paul Blackburn, Chichi Gonzalez. You know, we're, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna struggle. Brent Honeywell got lit up, but you know what? When I pitched with them, I really liked him. That was the guy that I liked the most out of everybody that we had. So, you know, ironically, he did the worst out of everybody that we had. The bullpen's the bullpen. I don't expect much at all. Um, so there's that. We might actually have an extra lefty. But, um, the, uh, yeah, yeah, that's really what it comes down to. Offensively, we need power. That is what we're missing. You know, like that, that's realistically what we're missing the most is just a little bit of power honestly we're missing some contact too we're missing some contact too um we're just we're just missing everything everything and anything that's what we're missing i, I do like the team i think i i think i'm gonna have fun with this series a lot it's just it's gonna be one of those struggles where i'm gonna 
I'm gonna hate every moment of it, but love it at the same time. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's like a glutton for punishment type thing. Don't take that the wrong way because that's not the what that's not what I'm trying to say. It's just it's 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 gonna be a good challenge. It's gonna be a good challenge. So of the games that I've played, the players that I've noticed that I like a lot in this team, Taylor Trammell, I like his swing. I think he's gonna be good. Clint Frazier, I think, is gonna be good for us. And then maybe Seth Brown. I'm still on the fence about Mickey Moniak or Moniak, whatever it is. I think Hermosillo as a fourth outfielder is going to be pretty good. I think he's going to be one of those that like I'm I'm going to struggle with, but I think the CPU is going to do well with on games that we sim. And then Harold Castro is just going to be an on-base machine for us at the top of the lineup. Pitching wise, we've talked about it, and then I have a feeling we're gonna we're gonna be looking to bring up some of our prospects as well. A player that I'm considering moving to the infield, just because we do have Taylor Trammell, we do have Miguel Andujar, we have Maniac now, we have Frazier, we have Hermosillo. I'm considering maybe moving him to first base, or we move Andujar into the infield, because I, I really don't like Michael Franco. I don't like him at all. So what I'm thinking is maybe Andujar to third, or what we could do is, I know Art Sanders has, he has some speed. He has decent fielding, decent arm. We could put him in left, keep him there, maybe move Andujar to third. Or what we could do is we could say, hey, we drafted you. I know you can play first base and the outfield. What if we made you a third baseman instead? He's got a decent arm. I wouldn't mind trying him out at third, giving him an opportunity to play third. So... That's something I, I'm, I'm considering. I want to know what you guys think about it. Do we do we maybe make Art Saunders? I, I maybe have been saying Sanders. Art Saunders, a third baseman. Because if you look at our depth at third base, we do have Zach Galoff or whatever his name is, Zach, who could be good for us. We don't really have a prospect there. And we also don't really have a prospect at first base. We do have Marmalejos, who I did make a first baseman instead of a left fielder. But... You know, let me let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. Do we move Andujar to the infield or do we maybe move Saunders to the infield? Because I think Saunders, if we move him to the infield, would get into the team a lot quicker unless we just make Andujar an infielder. But then again, he's still Saunders is still facing Trammell and Frazier in the corner spots because Saunders is not a center fielder. He's not. He just doesn't have the reaction or the fielding to be there. So he's definitely a corner guy. So let me know what you guys think about that. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Plus, we also have a lot of prospects for the outfield. I feel like maybe moving Saunders to one of the corner infield spots would help us out a little bit. And I'm kind of thinking third. Let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know what you guys think about how bad we suck. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We suck. That's really what it is. I don't know what to expect going forward. But we'll find out together. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.